of Iowa State, Gary, but they also had two halves of atrocious shooting. Shot, I think, 20 in interference of touch. Door foul. Two quick baskets in a row, and Iowa State. Ball. Pick and roll to Gallagher. 74%. Misses this one. Saved by Alexander, and laid up and in. Well, Paul Dorfell kept that ball. Collins, Baker from 15. You know, Mark, he seems to have settled. Gallagher for three. I looked his stats up before the game. Mosier. Three-pointer. And the front by five. Dorfell against Gallagher. Spins it in. Dorfell that time just horsing it up. Or trapped once, maybe twice. Inside, Alexander. One hands it up and in by Big Ten, back to Collins, and then stolen away by Cole. Boy, good job by Cole. He made the play here after the steal. With a six-point lead, it's 41-13. Minute mark, Creighton by six. Here's the pick and roll. Gallagher rolls it home. More, or needed to see it more the second half, and so far that's what's happened. Brian Pearson for three points. Rebound to Woods. Long pass to Alexander. Too far under? No, sir. And that's the hands of Stolen on the inbounds pass. Pearson drives the lane, feeds Alexander. Shut up. Woods down, two on two. Now he's going to get it. Alexander had the step, got help from Harstad, fades back and hits it. Well, they're getting it now. It's uh, just a kind of a cat and mouse situation. You got to make sure that you get a good shot down each possession. Alexander gets the basket and the foul. Well, he's no foul. Game for Harstad. Collins shakes free, doesn't hit the layup. Baker drives it home. Harstad got it. Pearson with a steal. And a good pass. Woods. We talk about him, Pearson being ambidextrous. What a bend the three-point shot, too. Iowa State really hawking the basketball. Here's the three from Duane well, Cole. The, well, Iowa State had the basketball with 39 seconds. Good pass. Alexander baseline misses the first two. But 
follows it up and in. Alexander with 30. Lock down to 20. Plots in the corner. He hits it, a three-pointer, and it's tied again. Three, two, one. Pearson doesn't hit it, gets the shot away. The ball's still alive. The game isn't over. Victor, and it's tied again. There's the place to go with it. See, Harstead can't cover him either. Victor's got one foul. He can do anything he wants. They take the first lead. Here's Plotz from three. He did it again. Plotz. Defeat the Iowa State Cyclones in double overtime, 99 to 94. And Tony Baroni climbs to two and two against Iowa State and Johnny Orr. Well, for Gary Thompson, this is Mark Matthews saying good night from Hilton Coliseum. This is. whistled for the foul. That's his first personal, the team's second. Again, they try to work it inside. That's Kuhn. Oh, the glass and good. He now has four. And it's he's not allowing the inlet pass from underneath the Cyclones' hoop. Wow, look at this. Bill Coons, you talked about it. Woods. He can hit that. He almost did, but it goes off the rim no good. Victor Alexander, and he can hit that. Alexander is an excellent position rebound. Boy, both teams really looking inside with the basketball. Gary Woods for three. three Woods can hurt you from the three-point line. He's a guy that's a... Ten minutes left to go in the opening half. It's been a tight game all the way. Kirk Baker. But Iowa State now will shoot one and one from here on out in the first half. Woods hits it and he's fouled. Points per game for his career. Recently. Sure is a 43% free throw shooter misses, but there's Dorfell. Do too much, and that was the case there for Guest. Doug Collins to Thigpen from the corner for three. And he can hit that. Reggie Morton. And alive. Oh, oh nice. what a great pass. No look to Sean Vandiver. But that was nice. Pearson for three. Time down. Both teams look inside. Colorado has switched to his zone. That's to Colorado. Wise leading the way for Colorado with seven teams. I nope, they don't have to as Woods comes up with a steal to Pearson. Nice. Looked like he might have stutter stepped it on the way in, but or further than he wants to. Pass into Dorfell. Nice pass from Coons. And Dorfell hook shot, half hook, and didn't go all the way. Alexander running the length of the court. Getting the ball inside, getting good opportunities. Woods for three. One straight on the road in big eight play. Nice pass. Boone gets the basket. Markham with the, with the rebound. Now a three on one break. Alley oop. Who won't go? Alexander. But Collins saves it. Big pen. That's a two-pointer. Johnny Orr told us yesterday. It's Ali, and now wide open will be Vandiver for the jam. Vandiver. Here comes Woods. Woods, nice pass to Dorfell, and he's fouled. That's right. Nice. Big pen. The other side of the basket. Dorfell to Alexander. from 40 feet. Well, not quite. Showtime. Johnny Orr wins, and boys, he thrills. The final here at Ames, Iowa State. Baseline turnaround, kisses it off the glass. Well, he's Dale or uh, Stacy King, but they're good jumpers and very active. Ball game time for the third time. Brian, 60% from the field in the early going. Ahead to Collins. 
and he'll get it and draws the foul. Hand strength right there as he got wrapped. Woods for three. And Terry Woods with a hot hand and a quick five point. Struggled a little bit. And he's just, he said he's been playing well the last four ball games. Big man races down and feeds Alexander. And then played in only 10 games last year. Big pin outside. Baker with a second shot. Come it on. intercepts. Three on one to Woods. Terry Woods. Good job that time. They get you got numbers game. Koontz hard to the board. Good job. A good job by Koontz of going right to the basket where he has it to lay it off the glass. Davis the other way. Of the night, one of seven for Oklahoma for three. Oh, what a play, but Bell touched the line. It'll be. Go! Pearson. Three pointer. This game has been tied for Alexander. He has it blocked. And then Baker puts it up and in. Oh, Baker just continues to do a great job. Woods from three point land. He drains it. And here at Lloyd Noble Center. Chance when you put that ball hang it up with a lot of air time, Oklahoma's gonna be there for it. Alexander, the fact that Iowa State is in percent. Turn around by Baker up and in. Baker. Woods down, got a three on two to Alexander. Wide open for the slam. Boy, that was a good read by Wood. Collins spins his way to the hoop, lays it up and in, and a good move by Doug Collins. But both officials saw it as basket interference. Collins on the drive, gets the roll. Henry, cross court, McCovey fades away and hits it. Center Miss Ruff. Iowa State red hot in the first half from outside, and Baker drops a three from 10. Way outside, Collins. Alexander back up and in. Boy, how he takes that ball away from the defenders right there. It's got to be fresh. Baseline, here's Woods from the top. And a rebound to the Sooners. And all alone, here's Henry. Let me tell you the mistake was made. Woods shoots and this net press. So let's... Big Ben for three. And Iowa State with... Eight. At 7 o'clock. Recovery. You're, you're never satisfied with a loss, but... Uh, as they kind of tailed off and couldn't pull it out. The final score, Oklahoma 107, Iowa State 96. For Gary Thompson, I'm Mark Matthew saying goodbye from Lloyd Noble Arena. This has been an exclusive presentation of the Cyclone Television Network. Scraping those defensive uh, boards. And Kuntz with a fast break basket and the five. Inside Alexander. He's double teamed, triple teamed, and still banks it in. No doubt. Woods from three. In. And Wood. Inside Owens for the slam. Well, you, some, we're coming down to the eight minute mark. Baker over Pool Yeast and rolls it home. Yeah. Collins in trouble, or Big Pen rather, gets it away to Coots for the slam. Good bust out by Collins because he's really overplaying Woods on the passing lane. Baker from 12, and Kirk Baker is heating up. The run here. And Woods with the interception, outrunning King. And instead of four, it's back to six by Collins. Pearson for three. Wow! Time remaining, first half. And they're looking for the five play, which is supposed to be a pop out. And there it is, Woods at halftime by 10. And the Cyclones are. And uh, they had, were forced to make the switch. <laughs> now the bleachers walking right up to us. Guess he wants to be on TV. Coots and a new career. Oh, nice oh, beautiful pass. pass. What a pass from Woods to Coons. And Coons. That might have been a lot. Forced pass from that area. Collins throws it away. Richardson gives Nebraska the lead. Nobody back on defense now. Collins again for Iowa State by two. 
Same on that end for Nebraska right there. And big pin. Woods from downtown. Second three-pointer of the game. Woods goes up for the shot, hits it, and he's fouled by Moody. Moody was grabbing Woods all the way down. Ah! Hayes misses it. Collins Three down with one. the rebound. Ahead to Woods. The points of the game. Come with the trap, a one to two half-court trap. Good dish off. Baker Big pass gets off. it and gets the foul. Six of six at the line. And does. Run that you want in the offense. Oh, good pass by Pearson. Good Pearson penetration. To Victor Alexander, drew the shot blocked. Baker, long touchdown pass down to Thigpen. Feeds Dorfell for oh, the slam. The camper. Dorfell with his fourth point of the ball game, and Iowa State wins it. The final 91 to 83. Johnny Orr feeling good tonight winning their first game on the road in the Big Eight. Iowa State climbing to seven and nine. And now it's Missouri Wednesday night at Hilton. For Gary Thompson, I'm Mark Matt. What he tries to do against Iowa State is go inside. Iowa State will try to go in against these two guys too. Gets past Peeler and then loses control. Peeler. Watch this. Boom. This is a great athlete. And plus uh, four and a half rebound advantage in their opponents. Pearson for three. That could really get him going. Johnny Orr. Partially blocked. Coons lead pass to Collins. He just the back court. Pearson for three. Rebound, Peeler quickly spins into the lane and gets it. This is what you've got to stop. He tore in a breath. Soft turnovers, Iowa State with none. Collins, nice move on. You see, you've got that. Cyclones got away from that after they hit a couple three. Here, played to very few minutes, but he's come back in his senior year and just playing excellent basketball. Baker goes to the hook. Behind the back pass, inside to Koontz. Boy, is Koontz on fire. He is really playing well. And we've talked about it in the breath. Alexander finds an alley. Contact, and it's good. Nothing called, Norton. I will just raise up and shoot it. And he's going to right here and hits it. And Iowa State will. And the number one ranked Missouri Tigers head to the locker room with a four point lead at the break. But instead, they set it up. Dorfeld in this ball game now because of his defense and rebounding. He's not going to score. He didn't score in the first half, and he's on defense now and uh, rebounding. Give and go, Wood stops. Oh, now that's what I talked about in the first half. Hit the post, slide away. Here's in the second half. Oh, nice feed to Alexander. Good pass, good job of breaking the press. And then Iowa State going back on that uh, box offense and they go inside, they invert the back. Uh, Woods in traffic, hounded by four, takes the jumper anyway and swishes it. Where the Cyclones are sizzling, this is doubles it, has to go up with it, and then misses it. Coons follows. Big bucket, big bucket by Iowa State. Smith. Pearson for three. And his fourth three-pointer in the ball game. Pearson for three. Boy, he's been hitting, that's his fifth three-point back for Smith. Collins for three, he's got it. Tremendous shooting in this back. Iowa State with a chance to take the lead again. Thigpen takes the shot and gets it. A Hilton record for free throws in one game. Henson from Kansas State had 70 fouls. Peeler on a solo shot. Ford on the line. Good. Oh, what a big basket by the Iowa freshman. Iowa State with three. He's got to just two. push it, take it Woods to the basket, try and get it. the foul. Thigpen, it won't count. Oh, he just need to try to take it to the basket, get the foul. And Missouri hangs on for a 95-93 win at Hilton Coliseum. And after four straight wins by Iowa State, 
Johnny Orr finally goes to the locker room feeling defeat at the hands of the Tigers. in the back court. Pearson looked at a three. He was so great at three-point range against Missouri, and he's not cooled off. This young man struggled his possessions. And when they have held onto it, they're not shooting good from outside. Well, Justice Thigpen settles that. Alexander's open for three. That's the fourth for Phil. Good team. Oh, think that. Beautiful read. Great. Pam. Look at this. Three players. He gets it back outside of Woods for the option. Sure. There's Jeffries. He thought he was fouled, but no. Here comes Iowa State. Collins, think pen. Yes. Great pass. Collins looked on that of them, had the same opinion. Think pen. Nice pass inside. Another beauty from Collins to Victor. That's some terrifically to take the lead. Johnny Orr's troops came back to make a game of it. And right. Woods comes flying in, pulls up for the jumper, nothing but net. Terry Woods starting to heat things up for the Cyclones. Woods comes in for Iowa State now. They've got more size. Victor getting a little rest. Nice move, baseline for Iowa State. Off an inbounds pass. Wow. Cyclones trying to play a little more up-tempo. Baker leans in off the glass and good. Second straight bucket for Kirk Baker. Here with under seven minutes to go. Woods, that's a two-pointer, and Terry Woods has been the guy leading the parade for Iowa State. Houston, nice feed to Jeffries. Oh, great teamwork. Pass inside, tipped away at Iowa State. Great pass to Pearson. Terry Woods with a pass to Pearson. Down by eight, Woods goes falling into the paint again, and Terry Woods stole it away from Jeffries after he had come up with the rebound. Pearson for three, wow! 16 of those have come. Your knows his team is right back in this. Oh, a big miss, though, there as it's a four-point. Well, I don't know. I don't know. He didn't move into the offensive, man. He was, Orr is livid about this, and I'm not so sure he isn't right. It's his hands. The three-point shooters on Iowa State. Woods, Pierce. Like it was a two-pointer, though. It was well short, and Jeffries picked it off, and this could do it. The Cowboys win here at Gallagher-Iba, 86-78, and Oklahoma State is now 9-1 and one at home, and the Cyclones 2-8 and eight on the road. Oklahoma applying full court pressure in the early going and Pearson with a touchdown pass down to Doug Collins. Good pass by Pearson and a nice got a man ahead. Here's a three on one and Woods is the little one inside and no contest for Mullins. He's coming in for Victor Alexander. But Alexander misses the second. Collins turns it into a three point play. And a good job on the boards. Martin lays it in. This is what you have to cut down with Oklahoma. Door fell open from 15. Good jump strides drop. You're going to hear one roar. Instead, they go for two inside against Big Vic. And he gets his first two of the ball game from the field. And this is the Cyclones game. That Pearson wide open. Three. I said Pearson downtown. He kept Iowa State in the ball game here until the Cyclones lost in overtime. Give it up, wide open. Nobody home. Well, this crowd is going to erupt now. Can tie at halftime, but they're not going to wait around. Henry, three pointer. Pearson lets it fly prematurely. Full length throw that bangs off the glass. 
A bad pass by Oklahoma, and the Cyclones have it back. Woods will stop and fire from five. And his first two of the ball game. Woods being ridden along the sideline. Orr wants a foul. Instead, Woods all the way, feeding Victor Alexander. Against the centers. Inside, Jones. Back outside of Mullins for three. This guy is only average. Pro Crowd wanted a riding foul on Woods. Nice feed into Collins, and it's counted. The points there, and he tried to move before he had possession of it. Now he's got a wide open alley, gets it, and the foul. Strong. Woods almost run over from behind, no whistle. Evans lays it in for the easy two. Out of the attack. Inside Alexander, heavy traffic, but he still banks it in. This possession right to Victor Alexander, good pass in. Draws a crowd. Inside, Dorfeld back out to Woods. Doesn't hit it. Oh, a nice tap by Pearson. Then the three-pointer! Well, Pearson didn't come easy. He'll tell by the noise. Got a foul. The foul called it should do it for the 13th-ranked Oklahoma Sooner. His only points in the ball game, but what a big two, what a big three. It's academic. Will Woods get the shot up? He does, and it doesn't go. The final score, Oklahoma 86, Iowa State 81. This has been an exclusive presentation of the Cyclone Television Network. Go pulls it back out. They'll look to get a good shot and they'll utilize that clock. Great backdoor pass. Collins gets it after Victor Alexander touched it. Fast break to Coons. He'll slow things up though. Collins gets by Callaway. Make the Jayhawks work and they're that much better offensively when they don't have to work in the defensive end. Wide open is Dorfeld. Runs the show, gets the basketball to the people that need to have it. Averaging seven assists. Pearson from outside. We're tied. Pearson. Down with a kind bounce. And again, it's a six-point lead. Collins gets loose. Nice move. But well, Collins is 6-1. <laughs> There's only one that we know of. Pearson for three. Wow! Pearson hitting over 50% of his three-pointers in big eight play. Pritchard answers, though. He's going to come up with another offensive board. Woods pulls up for the jumper. Alexander strong. And he got hit in the nose. Want to force him to shoot the basketball outside if you all can. Jamison. Count the basket. Let's will shoot it probably. Triple team. Collins from three. <laughs> Collins now will hit the three-pointer at the buzzer to in the second half. Nice dish off the coon. That and the offensive rebounding of the Jayhawks. Marking in with his first points of the game. Pretty good move for it. Lost it, but it went right to Thigpen. Thigpen, Alexander, it's short. Alexander's had a tough day at the office, but count that one. Ben, lead pass to Woods, who tracks it down. What a play to Victor! Won't take that outside shot. Pritchard, turn around. Pritchard has taken over for KU. Put that one. Iowa State. They've lost six games, Dave, by five points or less. Dorfeld. One in seven this year. Mm. Dorfeld. Wow. I tell you, Dorfeld's gone completely. Got to get something to the basket. Somebody open on the baseline. Good call. Pearson almost had it stolen away. Big pen. Wow, what a shot. You can get a good shot. You don't have to force anything. Victor Alexander goes up. It won't go. Baker on the follow. Yes. Normally think you, well, you don't have to force something. That's a tough shot. Oh, that is. A three-pointer fall away. And Callaway will put the exclamation point on this one for the second-ranked Kansas Jayhawks. And that will do it.
Iowa State with another tough loss. Man, this season has been more frustrating than a rainy day at the beach for the Cyclones as they lose another one by five points, make it eight games this year. They have lost by five or less. Kansas walks out of Hilton Coliseum with their first win since 1983. The final, Kansas 88, Iowa State 83. Dave Nothing. Golden Buffaloes leading. Sean Vanderver with an early basket. Here's Collins works his way for an easy finger roll. Collins been anticipated crowd only in a few thousand. Dorfell outside only for two, but Dorfell from long range. Wise. Nice pass inside. Dorfell with a turnaround. He is two of Coons. Inside, Dorfell may have gotten fouled, but no whistle. And Collins counts to be a good shooter. Colorado trying to spread out Iowa State. Nice feed into Vandiver. What? Colorado with a turnover. Thick pen with a steal. And Dorfell oh, with a jam. As Thick pen feeds to Woods, who will fire and hits it. And Woods with his first half. And uh, Baker posted up. Good Woods. cut away by Woods. Long range, three-pointer. Down with it. Boy, I think Colorado's missing a bet right now by not going at Alexander. Particularly. Just as thick the big pen. It's from down court to Wise. Wise, a smart job there, uh, one on two of holding it up. And it Vandiver turns and gets it one-handed. You could actually see the letdown in pregame warm-ups, Gary. There wasn't the intensity there as Alexander turns and hits. Cuts it back to a three cyclone, save for one. And Big Ben loses it. Has it taken right out of his hands. Ahead to Vandiver. Flows with a five-point halftime lead, 44. Good job of Coons that time, beating uh, Vandiver up to the spot, keeping from getting the ball. Wise goes over Pearson. Rebound, Dorfell. Still a six-point game. Cut down to four by Collins. There's the transition game we're talking about. Job of waiting, making the offensive man show him the basketball, and he goes up, and he always blocks the ball soft, too. Collins in the second half. Another steal. Collins with a bad pass to Big Pen. Up comes Wise. Misses the easy one. Put back by Vandiver. And his 1,000th career point of two run by Colorado. Iowa State chopped a 47-39 lead to 47-46. And then they ran to 11 minutes to play. The Cyclones down by nine. Make it a dozen. The biggest. Collins comes up with it. Iowa State down by 12. And Alexander on the break. Victor Alexander. And we'll tell whether the decision has been right. They go into Vandiver. He gets around Coots and lays it. Put some heat on Colorado. They're going to go in that delay game. Maybe the trap would be a good thing. Paul Dorfell with his first. Both coaches clearing the benches. Benches and Colorado has been snapped again for the third time at the expense of Iowa State. Johnny Orr shaking hands. The final score, 83 to 60. Colorado wins it. Here, when he played ball for Kansas State, Terry Woods from three. Terry Woods now getting rebounds in the last two ball games, and uh, he's really been strong on the boards here in the first half. Collins missed the three, but Alexander for a couple. Iowa State gets a good break here. There's a off the mark. Collins with the rebound. Kansas State showing several different offensive sets here in the first half. Baker again. Iowa State, and the crowd has not been in the ball game at all so far. Henson for three. Nails it. Steve Henson finds. He said 15 points against Iowa State in the first game, but was blanked down in Oklahoma. Collins for three. 30, they lead it. Collins inside to Baker. Wires comes away with it. Bad pass. Collins will lay it up and in. 
for the anxiety of the interception and try Johnny Orr has to be happy with the way the first half went. Simmons wants for the steal. Woods open, far side, nailed it. You credit that to Thickpin. Stem the tide here and stop the roll by Kansas State. Baker misses. Nice follow there. Game late within the last three to three and a half minutes because Iowa State had trouble closing out the tight ball game. Pearson came away with it. I had three outs to Alexander. Got it. Big play there. Up on Henson and Delaware. You got to take the shot away from him. Oh, what a shot! With Cam this is it. He missed it. We go OT. Jeff Wires. And we've got overtime. Kansas State ought to get a quick shot because they'll get possession of the ball for sure again. And there, that guy, uh, unbelievable. That's all. Now for Steve Henson, Terry Woods That's a for quick three. Shot. Oh, yeah. and he answers. Oh, Kansas State brother. will go for one. Delaware working on Big Pen to Jones. One. He hit oh, it. Oh, my gosh, out of desperate. And first all the time. Delaware is an alternate. The clock's running out. Jones gets it and just puts up a desperation shot. Final score, Kansas State. Collins, long range, on the line, only two. Well, that's a good job because it was uh, two Iowa State players against three Missouri defenders. Collins for three. 
Elin. Smith against Kuntz. And Doug Smith already in Doug against the Tigers. Jamal Coleman checked in for Missouri. Here's Kuntz with a steal all the way. Good job by Coons there of Kithen. Try and keep him as far away from the basket as you can. Collins for three. Boy, what a shooter. Doug oh, Victor Alexander. And that's the freshman Warren who said is on him. And Iowa State's can score down there. Thigpen open for the jumper and hits it. For Justice Thigpen, his first two of the game. Good pass. Coleman inside to Smith. Time here at the Hearn Center, Columbia, Missouri. The school record, and he had a couple of layups that he missed. Nice pass off by Coons. Oh, indeed, and Victor Alexander slams it home. Buddy there. Yeah. Colorado, there was it. Alexander, and it's a two-point game as Victor. McIntyre dialing long distance, an NBA three-pointer. And 62-55. Terry Woods open for the jumper and hits it. Button and uh, Smith both with three fouls of getting inside because they're going to lay off. Oh, oh, what a play! What a play! That one you'll see. Collins fakes the shot. Woods will do it. Three pointer. And Iowa State is back. Play. A five point Mizzou lead. Make it seven. No backside help. Up for grabs. Thick. Woods for three. And Iowa State defense so. Less than a minute to go. Collins with a steal. And jams at home. It's a two-point game. 49. Match of people. Away. They got a mismatch of people. Big Ben doesn't hit it. Uh-oh. Nobody back. Down with a rebound to McIntyre. And that may do it. End up with 20 to lead. Well, rather, Collins with 21 to lead Iowa State. Victor with 20. But again. A near miss for Iowa State. And the Cyclones are two and 10 in games of five points or less. 89-85, the final story. We'll be back with more in a moment. away by Collins. Great feed to Victor. Hayes to King. A little hook shot. That's a high. Still looking inside with Alexander to Baker trying to get position. Shot clock down to three and Coons hits the Buckley to Thigpen. Back to Coons. Let's see what they're going to call it on. It's going to go on Ray Richardson. Count the basket. Go. The door fell in the corner, back to Woods. He must feel it, and boy, does he ever. I'll tell you that, baby. Victor Alexander being guarded by Lively. Back in the corner, a three-pointer from Thigpen. Nebraska 39. We'll come back to Ames in just a moment. Woods fakes a three-pointer, whips a pass to Coons, and he's fouled. King whips a pass to Hayes baseline. He misses the jam. Thick pen to Collins. In conjunction with this year's tournament, and it's open to the general public. Kurt Baker. He gets nice move by Woods to Dorfville. Collins from the perimeter. They're not listening to you, are they? But it goes right to Alexander, and he knows what to do with it down there. That certainly works out. On to Collins. Stripped away, but Woods has it. Takes it to the hoop to Victor. Darkville got a piece of that in the block. Pearson oh, yeah. slaps it to Darkville. Johnny Orr congratulates. Danny Nee and Iowa State walks off with a 101-85 win. Good job, 
since he came back in. Here's Woods transitioning. Bounce pass, Alexander. Great assist from Doug Collins. With him as a starter, they won three straight state titles, and this could be the first basket by Woods. Potter playing the top of that one two three zone. Another great pass. That's three times. In the shots. And with a minute 15 remaining, there's a steal. Collins behind the back to Woods. Sometime soon. That's a three from Doug Collins. Seven for him tonight. There's a takeaway. Good D by Houston. And then answering right back for two is Justice Thickpen. Take for him. There's Williams working around his man inside to Houston. Physical basket. Bumble. Collins got it back. Right side. Thickpen to Dorfell. Forced the turnover. Collins to Thickpen. From the left side. And that's a three. Right with an air ball. Alexander the rebound. Down the court. Guess who? Collins! <laughs> Iowa State just has it. And Iowa State's gotten every one of those loose balls tonight, Bob. Alexander from Woods. <laughs> oh, what good defensive play. Coons in the ball game, taking it away from Houston. Dorfeld and company down there. Oh, oh and a good transition. Doug Collins in the double figures. He had and Jeffries both went to the floor. Houston hands it right to Terry Woods, who picked him clean. He was looking for Alexander to come by and take the ball. Dorfeld from Woods. What a pass. And a great shot. Seven for 103 from three-point range. There's Woods from Dorfeld, but great vision by Collins to get the ball out of trouble. Basketball, he had eight assists in the first half. Woods kicks it. Alexander, boom. Ball movement works. Cyclones with some sweetness at home for the final time this year. Win number 399 career for Johnny Orr as the Cowboys fall tonight at the home of the Cyclones. Oklahoma State's bubble not bursting yet, but it's feeling a little less secure. They're 15 and 11 on the year with Oklahoma coming. and strong because he could feel marking him. Afternoon. Sellout crowd at Allen Fieldhouse. Gellner right up the gut. Well, this club can shoot from outside 44.2% on the air from the three-point. Callaway to Pritchard. He takes the jumper. And Callaway with a big rebound and two points. Rick Callaway leads 134 to 46. Down the middle, Victor Alexander off the glass. Ball game is shooting 58% from the field. Collins banker and a rebound by Dorfeld. Let's get Pearson. To hey, that's a three. Out it comes to Randall from Pritchard. Pritchard for a three. Yes. Callaway is hurt in under there and a shot up. It already averaging 14.4 a game. Collins losing it. Here's Brown all alone. Bingo. <laughs> well, this kid does a lot coming off the bench. He's the most valuable player in the National Junior College tournament. You need to play that zone. And so little game little experience practice, with it here. Pearson, oh, he's a zone. Last uh, few weekends, 420 miles to make this trip, and they've done it a number of times. Gellner hits a three up the middle. Thanks for the big uh, three-point record of 91 goals in a season by Mookie Blaylock. Showtime. <laughs> Jordan throws it, throwing it up. That was Brown. Go. Randall tried to tap it in. It wouldn't go. Here's Woods. Nice little rolling shot in the early going. Alexander. He's got two. State. Last year at Lawrence, is that's a three-pointer for Brown. Well, the defense has just been suffocating. Look at that, they lead up. Callaway, another turnover. Callaway has it. 
The turnover points now for Callaway, and still another steal. Pritchard to Callaway, back to Pritchard. Bingo! Boy, have you ever seen a team that's any sharper right now? Johnny Orr is up. He's getting the timeout. Pritchard has six. 6.08 to play, first half. Well, this is an Iowa State club that shot uh, over 50% on the season, and Kansas just going wild. That was a long game. They're down 45 to 18. The only thing they can do is treat each possession as if it was a life and death matter. Go down, play with great efficiency. He draws the defense in and then pitches out to Brown. Markinen with the steal. Markinen stuffed it in, and he was fouled from behind by Coons. Opeka will have a chance for the three-point play. It's a game, but he averages almost nine points a game and three and a half rebounds and shoots 56%. Watch this one. Oh, he's, he's gathering himself. <laughs> <laughs> Jamison with the steal and two. 15 points for Randall. Four of the starters already in double figures. And a three-pointer. Yeah. He's got a chance. To, oh, they're going for the lob. Here's Wagner. Wagner takes the jumper. He gets it. <laughs> Wagner gets it. And Kansas wins with a new record for a single game. The final, 118-75. So the Jayhawks go against Oklahoma in one of tomorrow afternoon's semifinal games. Roy Williams, Kansas Bunch with a 118-75 victory over the Iowa State Cyclones.